So hello girls, uh, today we are going to demonstrate about the electrolysis of seawater. So right now I have a beaker of seawater here. And if you still recall what we have been learning last time uh, for the test of cations, N ions, as well as water, we know that actually seawater is containing Na plus sodium ions, Cl minus chloride ion, as well as of course from the aqueous state, you know that it is a solution. Of course it contains water. And right now we are going to electrolyze it. So in, in Latin, lysis means break down, okay? We are utilizing the electricity in order to break down the seawater. So let's check out what will happen if we are applying the DC power supply with 15 volt, okay? And we are electrolyzing the setup. Okay, so first of all, um, we are filling in the seawater into the box here, as well as filling the seawater with both test tube. All right, and in order to fill in, we are going to actually pour those solution into a beaker for, uh, in the in the test tube first. And after that, we can use our our fingers to stop it, and we can invert it so that when we are inserting into the cup and you can see both test tube here are actually filled with seawater okay with the pressure being equalized at both water and here as as well as inside the test tube and now we are going to put the power supply okay to make it like a 15 volt okay 15 volt and let's see what happened And of course, before that, I have already put a stopper inside. And because I have um, put the test tube up to the bottom part, if I am taking it up, you are able to see there are some gas evolved. And it is quite fast, actually. So if you look at the side on the black wire, you are actually seeing that electrolysis is quite fast on the black wire. Okay, on the test tube on the right hand side and later of course we are stoppering it underneath inside the box and we will perform several chemical tests to test about the presence of the gas okay and i found on the right hand side this tube it has already full of gas and you can see the water has been displaced out so that I can stop it underneath okay and how about that I I turn off the power supply first because I would like to test the gas on the right hand side so right now let's take out this test tube yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and see what's inside All right. So of course, when I make it vertical, take it out vertically, and it is full of the gas that we have collected when it was bubbling. And right now, in this test tube, I'm going to use a wooden splint and make it a burning splint. So right now, I have a burning splint here, and when I am unstoppering the the, the stopper. And let's check what happened. Can you see? Can you see? So, I believe you have heard a sound of pop. There is a pop sound. So what kind of gas is evolved on this test tube, okay? Let's think, okay, let's think. And of course, let's continue the setup and in order to collect the other gas on the, on the left-hand side, okay? And of course, when I am actually taking up the test tube, you can see the conduction between the two electrodes, as well as the electrolyte is quite good, okay? So the electricity could pass through better, okay, when I am taking up the test tube so that the conduction is better. And you may also observe the color of the gas inside this test tube. This 
process is a little bit slow because the test tube on the left hand side, the gas inside is quite soluble in water. Okay. And right now, I am actually smelling of a swimming pool swimming pool smell. Okay. But of course you are not able to smell it through the camera. And great, I have already have a full test tube of that gas, of this gas. So I'm going to stop it underneath the water and see and see. Okay. So first of all, <clears throat> it's actually having a swimming pool smell here in the lab. Right now, can you please describe the color of this test of the gas inside this test tube? Okay, can you see? Okay. Alright, it is a little bit greenish yellow or yellowish green, okay, compared to colorless gas surrounding it. Alright? Can you actually see? Oh, it's still okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you. How about that? We perform a test right now that we are we are to apply a wet blue limus paper. So I have a stack of blue limus paper here and of course in order to make it wet in order to make it wet we have distillated, uh, distillated water bottle here and I'm going to make it wet. So actually it's quite wet and it is, of course it is blue in color. Can you see blue in color? And the gas in here is quite yellowish green, okay? So right now please observe when I insert this paper into it, the color change of the paper, all right? Let's see. It turns red and right now it turns white all right so there are two steps number one the wet blue lemon paper turns red so this kind this gas is acidic neutral or alkaline think 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 okay and after it turns red there is a bleaching effect okay and that it turns white entirely but the experiment did not stop here after we are able to perform the experiment Let's check also about the acidity or alkalinity of this solution remaining. And of course, and of course, we are able to use red limus paper. Uh, well, I mean red limus paper here, and insert into the solution remaining here. Okay, let's see. It turns blue immediately. All right. So let's look at the blackboard and see what happened actually and actually sea water contains four kinds of ions and namely they are the sodium ion that we used to the flame test to test when we observe a golden yellow flame that the presence of sodium ion is in the sea water and of course when we do the silver nitrate test we also know that the chloride is also present all right and water is actually having a chemical formula of H2O and the water inside the electrolyte is slightly ionizing to become a hydrogen ion H plus as well as hydroxide ion OH minus and in this experiment because as we have learned in form 2 that the whole student electrode that is in red wire actually is giving out the current and actually current and electron flow is in an opposite direction and that's why the electron is actually coming from the negative electrode here the electron coming out from here and it goes on to the electrode that is made of graphite an inert electrode and when the electron goes up to here and of course electron would be attracted by what do you think about a sodium ion hydrogen ion chloride ion or hydroxide and of course it would be the hydrogen ion. So it migrates towards the electron. Okay, the hydrogen ion received the electron and there is a formation 
of the hydrogen gas. Actually, it is the hydrogen gas. And that's why when we are testing it with a burning splint on the right hand side of the test tube, we are able to hear a pop sound. All right. And on the left hand side, of course, because it is where electron is returning to the positive electrode of the DC power supply. And that's why who is donating the electron? And of course, it should be the chloride. So the chloride actually migrates towards the electrode here because it is mobile in nature. And the chloride loses its electron to form chlorine gas. And of course, because of the displacement of water, it was filled in, in with this with a salt solution. And right now it bloop, 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 and it goes up. And that's why we collect the chlorine gas. And of course, chlorine gas is an acidic gas, and that's why it turns blue lemon paper red but of course chlorine is also slightly soluble in water that when it has been dissolved in water it forms hypochlorous acid which is somehow like the bleach solution pubaso and that's why it makes the wet blue lemon paper starting from blue to red and then to white okay because it got a bleaching effect and think for the moment when the hydrogen ions and the chloride ion has been consumed, okay, has been consumed, has been consumed, what is left behind? It is the sodium hydroxide. And that's why when we are inserting a red uh, limus paper into it, because it is an alkaline that you have learned in form one and form two, and that's why it turns blue. Alright? So have a very nice day, see you in the class. Bye bye.